You're still watching News Today on Afia TV, and I am Mavlis Apwamaga. In an effort to protect citizens from the outbreak of water-related diseases and ensure that portable water is distributed to residents in Enigo State, both in the metropolis and rural areas, the Enigo State Ministry of Water Resources has given April 30 as a deadline for water tanker drivers to paint their tankers with the government-approved colors. Sky blue color for drinking water with drinking water supply boldly written on it on both sides and the back. Yellow color for industrial water tankers with industrial water supply boldly written on it on both sides and the back. However, the extended six-month window provided by the Enigo State Water Sector Law 2023, which became effective last November, elapses at the end of April 2024 and enforcement commences on May 1, 2024. Now joining me in the studio to talk about this is Mr. Alex Obodo, Head of News and Current Affairs at Fiat TV. You're welcome on the program, sir. Thank you. Marvelous. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Okay, so before we go right into the discussion, let's uh, watch this. The, the, the first point is that it's not all the tankers that are supposed to be off because some of the water companies some of the water com producing companies, okay, like bottled waters, yeah. they have their tankers too, okay. So you can't keep them out of business because they need to produce in their factories. Yeah. Some bottled the, the sachet water companies too, they produce, so they have their tankers. So the idea is that we want all those, in fact, empowered by the water sector law, we want all those who are dealing on drinking water to be sure they are collocated so that. We know that this is water tanker for drinking, for drinking yeah. water. That you convey only drinking water. So, for adventure, when we see your tank somewhere in the streams, like what is happening here in the stream before the prison quarters in the uh, independence level, prison headquarters, they go to the tanker driver, they line up there, they evacuate water from there, and then go to sell for 40,000. Those are health hazards. Those are challenging to us. Okay? So, we need to know those tankers which are meant for industrial purposes. Let them color coats to yellow colors, whereas those for drinking water should be blue. Now, the quality of the tankers that we use in Enugu, nobody has checked that over the yeah. past decade. Because what? There was no water. Now that we have water, we're fixing it. We're going to make sure that if you are going to carry water to be able to take convert to your company, we'll check the inside of it. We have a lab. There's a reference lab with the Enugu State Water Corporation. So by the, by the end of the window, because we're giving them six months, from November when the law was uh, actually unveiled. So it's going to elapse by end of April. If that happens for May, beginning of May, we're going to make sure every every tanker driver that wants to be an operator in the water sector in Enugu, they should be able to paint there. Yeah, if you're dealing on water, drinking water, color coat your tanker is blue with clearly inscription on it. This is drinking water tank. Then the back where you have the the, the pumping machine, what you, they, where they have you color coat it sky blue, complete. This is drinking water. To inscribe that this tanker is designated for drinking water. Then if you are dealing on commercial on the industrial purposes that you're giving to factories and all that, color coat yellow. This is industrial water. Behind the where you have the tanker, the the pumping machine also is total yellow. Oh. That's it. So we're going to clap on them so that if we see somebody you having this crested sky blue water tanker for drinking water and then we see you taking water we know the points where they're operating from we know all rivers some go as far as uh, behind the clinic some go along the google expressway to go and then some are behind the prison here we know them you know so once we see you in a wrong place or we even our team because there is a task force we set up already our team catch you with your tanker we take you to water corporation and then check the quality of the content once the quality is going to constitute a health hazard for Enugu people. I mean... Okay, so we've heard from the Commissioner for Water and Resources in Enugu State, Felix Namani. You know, when um, the Governor of Enugu State, Peter Amba, introduced the 180 Days Water Project, we thought tankers would be out of it. And according to him, because people were saying, is this a way of reintegr reintegrating tankers or tanker drivers back to the state? But the Commissioner for Water and Resources said, this is for commercial purposes. And it's not for reintegrating them back into uh, the state. So I want to hear what you think about it. Do you think this is a good initiative? It, it, it's a good thing. I, I feel that what I'm seeing is that the government 
because they've done something about water. So they are proud to now regulate the water supply space. That's expected. And well, if you haven't used Kanka in Enu for a period of time, you may not understand what they are saying. So sometimes you ask a tanker to bring water. And after supplying the water, you're looking at the water. If you have used night mile water and they put it in a clean basin for you, you would know that this is night mile water. It doesn't have any particles. And it wouldn't have particles for days when it is stored. That's one of the characteristics of the night mile water from night mile. So you can tell. But the, the problem is that some of them play a fast one because they know that some of the people they supply water for don't have time to go and test it. Because once they supply the water, it sits there in the tank for a period of time and then whatever debris that it came with will settle. So when you open the tap or whatever, you see something clean. But that's not healthy because some people who claim they supply clean water to homes also supply water to construction companies for road. For, for road. You know, when you move, you see them pouring water on the road. Where are they getting the water from? Those, those are from the streams. So that's the point the, the, the Commissioner for Water is making. The same tanker you use to source water from the stream is the same tanker, let's assume, that you also go to Night Mile to now get water. So either way, the water gets polluted because that tank has collected contaminated water from a stream or a nearby river. So that's the point they are making. If you want to supply clean water, it has to be clearly labeled on your tanker. We should know that this water is coming from Night Mile. We know that the water is clean. If you are a pure water company, it has to be painted that this is a clean water supply tank so that we don't have that mix up. Because people, once you are painted, once your, your, your tanker is color coated, let me use their word. Well, once you're properly color coated, you can't take the sky blue tanker to behind the uh, prisons or uh, uh, any st any random stream to go and get water. But because people will see you say, ah, what is the clean water tanker doing in a stream? So I think it's a, it's a good step in the, in the right direction. Well, you know, that can only happen if there's a tax force, a tax force set up for this particular um, initiative. And he also stated that there's actually a tax force set up. But then what, what came to mind is, uh, you know, we've heard of abuse and harassment from this tax force, government tax force and all of that. Now, do you think this uh, tax force will be effective? And how, how, how long do you think this can be sustained? I think the ta tax force will be effective. Uh, you ask yourself, it's easy to spot a water tanker. It's not a small contraption. I mean, they're usually big. So if, if and it's, it's not something that can happen without people seeing. Can you imagine if a tanker is moving towards a river, you will know. So the only thing you will worry about is whether there's, that there will be enough commitment from whatever committee to implement whatever decisions the government has made. And I think that this is a good step. But what I'm also expecting is now that the, it looks like the water tanker drivers are complaining about the timing. You know, I mean, in order to just... Uh, the, give them some kind of uh, soft landing and just give them a time extension. Uh, I think a little time extension would be nice. Instead of, uh, fine, they didn't comply. I, I do not know, I, 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 I did not see the circular when it was sent to Water Tanker Association. I didn't see a circular there because obviously when that law came, you're supposed to send them a circular that you, that you made a law but you have not communicated with the people and before you even made the law in coming up with the law were, were there consultations were there what you call uh, public hearing on the law you made but i mean if it was not a, a new law that's fine but was there an official communication to all the stakeholders is is that is there a proof that they were in the know because the the commissioner was saying from november i, I don't know I was not copied in the letter, so I, I'm not going to be a party to saying whether they got it on time or whether they were informed or not. Only the tanker drivers and the associations will know whether they got a letter as of November to start collocating their tankers and they decided to ignore it. So one would naturally think that based on how things are, 
the government can say, okay, let's give you some extension, maybe two weeks or a month. I don't think it will be too bad to have an extension. After all, these are people in Enugu who are trying to make a living, and I believe they are also paying appropriate taxes in Enugu. So, okay, so the if people, that is the case. The people of Enugu State, so residents in Enugu, have complained. I've heard so many people complain about how expensive tanker water is. And now the government is coming with this initiative of painting their tanker. So, if they are to paint their tankers, if I'm spending money on what I'm doing, I'll definitely increase my price. Well, I, I think that the major issue isn't the painting of the tanker. Okay. The reason why there has been some increase in the price of water is because of diesel. I buy water because my my area is not yet piped. Mm, I'm expecting that it will be piped because people are enjoying tap water. The, the, the major problem is the cost of diesel. And that's the reason why they've been increasing their price. But naturally, if you have an increase in op your operation costs, it will reflect in your services but we don't expect that to linger like if, if you have a one-off painting of your tank i don't know how much it will cost but those are some of the expenses you incur for being in this line of business and uh, water is expensive for those that are buying it uh, 500 gallon i don't know depending on who's selling to you between 9 and eleven thousand or 12 i don't know uh, it can be higher it can be lower and 1,000 gallons, you can now just multiply that by two. So well, there are people who are really paying heavily for water in the town. And we, we hope that with the intervention of the government in trying to reticulate water to areas they are not, uh, we can have some respite. But I'm suspecting there has been some uneasy relationship now between the government and the tanker drivers. It was always bound to happen. If you fix the water problem in Enugu State, you would not need the water tankers anymore. Well, so, he, he so, stated, he, the Commissioner for Water stated that this is for a commercial purpose. No, no, I, I mean, bottled water. No, I, I, no, I understand his explanation. His explanation is clear. But if you are a water tanker driver, and most parts of Enugu now have portable water, who are you going to be supplying to? It's a simple, they know, I mean, it's 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 clear what's going to happen. Those guys are endangered species. If the government reticulates water to most parts of Enugu, so there, I'm sure I'm sure there's some kind of uneasiness among the tanker drivers' ranks. So that's why it's looking like the government is trying to chase them out of town. But that's not what the government is saying, though. So I will not be misquoted. But naturally, if if I supply water to most people in town. And then those people I'm supplying water to now have their own water. I'm out of business. It's a simple thing. So they, I, I think it's, it's in their interest that they comply with the government law. I mean, because at this point, you don't want to be at loggerheads with government. All right, Mr. Alex, just to run off our discussion. Now, uh, the Commissioner for Water says the key objective of this is to protect citizens uh, of the states against waterborne diseases. Now, do you think uh, this development will be effective in doing this? And what do you think the government can do better? Yeah, absolutely, because water is a very, very quick way of getting infection, especially when you ingest something. If you drink water now, it goes straight into your bloodstream. So you, if there's any microbe in the water, you will easily fall sick. I mean, if, if you have uh, a public health uh, concern with water, it's usually deadly because it, it might affect a lot of people. Imagine if someone goes to one stream and fetches water and supplies like six or seven compounds in a neighborhood. All of them will use that water probably to cook and even drink. And then in the next two days, all of them will report to either Park Lane or UNTH seek. It's a public health concern. The government, they are actually in order. In, in many parts of the world, even, even the water government reticulates should also be tested. They are not telling us wh whether they are testing their own water. What's the result of the water they are testing? Because el elsewhere in the world, there's that, supposed to be regular testing of the water people drink, whether it is coming from government or tanker drivers. So it's something that needs to be in public domain because we know that the works are going on with the pipes. Sometimes the pipes will burst, 
and then they fix them again with everything going in and out of the pipes. There could be some kind of, uh, you know, picking up of particles into the pipes. I mean, it's... And we've been hearing of open defecation in the state. So it's, well, the open defecation is a... Now, that's, that's, that's where another problem is because people will defecate maybe into the stream yes. that they will go and fetch the water from. So that's the reason why, uh, you know, they need to color code their tanker. So that if a sky blue tanker is sighted close to a stream, you know that the alarms will go off. But if you are for industrial, if you have an industrial color coating, then we know you are probably fetching water for those in construction site. That's not a problem. Because the problem is the same tanker they use in getting water from the stream, they still go to nightmare and get water. It's not, it's not something you can easily wash. You really see that. I know they wash their tanker, but you don't see them do that every day. It's not something they do every day. Look at the size of the tank now. It's not, it's not, it's not something people want. Even the tanks people use in their houses, how often do they wash it? All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Mr. Alex, for coming on the program. Thank, thank you, you so much. And thank now you. to end the news, a recap of the top stories. And like I say, government has announced a verification exercise for the next of kin of deceased pensioners. Meanwhile, the National Security Advisor says there has been a significant decrease in terrorism-related deaths in the country. And on the business news today, the Naira devalues by 6 to 4.5 Naira against the United States dollar and the foreign exchange market. And on the foreign scene, Australian Prime Minister has criticized social media platform X for each extraordinary decision to fight an order. And that's all on the news today. Thank you for staying with us. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Afia TV Official. I am Mablus, a Many thanks for watching.